How to handle invalid scans. When you scan a UPC at the point of sale and it does not exist in the database, you can continue with the sale but the item will be considered invalid. In this training clip, we will sell three invalid items and show three different ways to correct these invalid sales. For the first scenario, let's assume that the product does exist in VRP, but the manufacturer's UPC was never entered as an assortment. To correct this, go to Matrix 2 and search for the product. Then choose the transaction type, Assortments UPC, and click Show Assortments. Then enter the manufacturer's UPCs. Save your entry, then click Bye Bye to exit Matrix 2. Next, go to Reports and choose Invalids. Since we know the sale was made today, click the Today button, then click Run. If the sale was not made today, you could choose any date or range of dates. Then click Auto Convert. VRP will automatically find the correct UPC in the database and change the invalid sale to a sale for the correct product based on the UPC assortment you entered in Matrix 2. For our second scenario, let's assume that the product does not exist in VRP at all. To correct this, go to Add Item and Create the Product. Make sure you enter the UPC that was scanned as the original UPC or as an assortment. The preferred method is as an assortment. Save your entries, then click Bye Bye to exit Add Item. Then go back to the Invalid Report. Run the report based on the sale date, which for our example is today. When you click Auto Convert, VRP will automatically associate the invalid sale with the item you just created since you added the invalid UPC as an assortment. In the final example, let's assume that the item does exist in VRP, the manufacturer's UPC has not been entered as an assortment, and you do not want to add the assortment at this time. Return to the Invalids report and search for the scan. Instead of clicking Auto Convert, click Convert. You can assign the VRP system generated UPC to this sale instead of the one that was scanned. VRP will then change the sale to reflect the UPC of the item you entered and it will no longer be an invalid scan.